battle all over the country. It is not a minute issue. It is a very important point to leave in the platform. Okay, so just to clarify, the motion before us is to adopt the platform as proposed. There is no other motion before you. Any other discussion for or against the motion to adopt the platform as proposed? Mr. Yes, James. Uh, Mr. Chairman, would it be in order if I would make a motion to amend the main motion to include natural board between man and woman in the uh, uh, section that the lady just addressed? Let me inquire. So the way the parliamentarians read that rule is that it's not allowed. You would need to suspend the rules to allow for changes to be considered on the floor that were not submitted in writing to the committee. Then I so move. There is a motion to suspend the rules to allow consideration of amendments to the platform on the floor that were not presented to the committee. And there's a second. All those in favor of suspending the rules to allow further consideration of amendments to the platform that were not presented in writing at the committee, those that want to do that say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Yay. Okay, I'm not in doubt. Is there an inquiry? It has to have been presented to the committee in writing, otherwise the rules would have to be suspended. <laughs> I stated the motion. He said so moved. I restated the motion. So it, it, it was as it was presented. And it failed. So we're now to back to the question of being for, yes, point of word. Um, it's been stated that, that to consider something that had to be presented in writing, what's being presented was in writing, it was part of the old platform. Therefore, it was presented to the rules committee. So that would be an improper exclusion or argument made against it. All right, we have a motion to suspend the rules. It wasn't debatable, it failed. We're moving on. So the underlying motion is whether to approve the platform that's been presented. Uh, the chairman reminds me that there was a request if anyone wanted to present a minority report and nobody stepped forward to do that. So just as an added part of the process here. So is there, there's about a, a minute or two left on each side for or against adopting the platform. Seeing none, we'll proceed to vote. All those in favor of adopting the platform as proposed by the committee say aye. Aye. Those opposed? No. The ayes have it. Thank you. And uh, let's thank the committee for their great work. Thank you, Graham. Thank you, Don. And especially Maureen Hatfield, who is up till 4 a.m. typing these up. Thank you, Maureen. 2 a.m., okay, whatever. That's when I went to bed. Don, uh, John? So noted, thank you, and, and we can 
entertain discussion about changing the convention rules in the future. Okay, the next report, and, and again, this was under this particular set of circumstances with the ruling by the parliamentarians, and we did have a motion to suspend, and there was no challenge lodged to the ruling of the chair, which is always a prerogative of the body. Uh, with that, we now move on, and uh, let me ask, on the agenda, we listed the last two committee reports as being after lunch. That wasn't hard and fast. The rules are hard and fast. So is there any objection to moving on to the remaining committee reports before lunch? Okay, I didn't think so. All right, so the next committee report is the resolutions committee. Representative Bob Nonini and soon to be State Representative Kelly Packer. Please welcome them. legislature. 
a concept that perpetuates the very flaw found in the Supreme Court's decision, just in reverse. Having two houses similarly elected makes legislation easier to pass. The intent of our constitutional framers was to make legislation harder to pass. So, if you have one chamber elected by political subdivisions, you needed another chamber elected by proportional vote of the people. Now, looking at Idaho, if we did this, we would have a legislature that amounted to 1,629 people in the House and Senate combined. We would have 1,580 some odd in the House and 44 in the Senate. Every county would have one senator. Uh, is this something that we really think is some, sounds a little unwieldy to me? The language of the resolution repeatedly refers to county suffrage and enfranchising counties. Units of government are created by man and do not have the right to vote. We fought for women's suffrage, for racial suffrage, but what is the meaning of unit of government suffrage? If a county has the right to vote, why wouldn't a city? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, by rule, um, the other side is allowed up to three minutes to prevent, present its argument in response to the minority report. So, is there anyone that wants to provide a response? Delegate Barry, come on down. I'm Lee Barron from Campbell County, uh, one of the disenfranchised counties. The, this resolution is based on the federal law where the tiny states like Rhode Island have two United States Senators and the unpopulous states like Idaho that had about 40,000 people when it became a state had one representative. This is not a democracy. Under our forefathers' view, it is a republic. The, the intention and the genius of the American system is, is that all areas are represented and, and uh, that the population will prevail. Uh, it's been that way forever. If you believe that, that this is a democracy, then it totally changes America. Uh, the fact is, is, is that we take this to its logical conclusion. Uh, on the, in the western United States, uh, just view it, San Diego, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Portland, Seattle, maybe Spokane, maybe Salt Lake, Denver, there's all of them need to vote because that's where all the population is. I come from a county that has not had representation in the Idaho legislature. A county picked by the people of Idaho over a long period of time uh, that has not had representation for 40 years. Now, my resolution says one senator and at least one representative, and the reason why that's important is, is you don't want to have a representative body, our legislature, wherein the citizens of a community are not represented. So, for the same reason that, that the little states got a representative in the House of Representatives in the United States Congress, the little county should have that. Uh, I didn't say 1,600 uh, representatives in my own legislature. You can do that. Uh, it makes very little difference. I, I looked at this, and, and uh, right now, Ada County would still get just exactly the same amount of representatives that it now has. But all these little counties that are not represented now would, in fact, have a representation in the legislature. So I view the Supreme Court decision that the Red, contrary to any words in, in the 14th Amendment, that, that, uh, that it was one man, one vote over the United States, is, it's just a bad decision. And I think it's, it's a, it is a tyranny that comes out of the, out of the 
Supreme Court decisions that we Idahoans need to start fighting, and this is the place. So little counties and big counties, because Ada County, I'm sorry to tell you this, you can't outvote Los Angeles. Uh, we need, we need to, to. Uh, the delegate's time has expired. Start, starting here, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay, so the uh, Denver Minority Report in response. So the motion uh, of the chairman was to adopt the resolutions. How many were there? Eleven resolutions. That's the motion. We're ready for any other discussion? Yes. Yep. Yeah, uh, an amendment in order. Uh, to a resolution. To the motion of the chair. Yes. Okay, Mr. Chairman, I move. The motion of the chair be amended to include the minority report, which would not include the county suffrage resolution. Is that in order? You're basically saying that the the resolution number three would be stripped out by adopting the minority report? Yes. And the rest of the resolutions would survive? Correct. Uh, I'm, I'm informed that uh, the, the correct way to do it would be through a motion for division.